Dragon 1977. What a ridiculous, ridiculous remember? question that you is. Last week, we talked about how this newfound hysteria over drag queens within within the GOP is a completely new phenomenon. Up until the end of 2022, there were zero drag queen bills proposed throughout the years in any Republican-controlled legislature. So this is a new thing that they're choosing to be hysterical about. Now, what I love is that I feel like Republicans at this point, they've just given up on even trying to be consistent because they've been exposed as hypocrites time after time after time that what's the point of even trying to pretend as if you have any core principles but this story is a little bit different because the hypocrisy here is so overwhelming that this is just it it feels like this is like we're living in a parody and it's almost hard to believe it so some of these most prominent anti-drag queen republicans I'm, I'm sure you're going to be surprised to know the title already spoiled it, but you're not going to be surprised to learn that they have drag queen pasts. Yeah. So NBC News reports by the time Tennessee Governor Bill Lee confirmed Monday that he would sign a recently passed bill criminalizing drag performances in public and in front of children, a photo that appears to show him dressed in drag as a high school student, had already started to circulate on Reddit and Twitter. Just before midnight Saturday, a Reddit user shared an image that appears to show Lee as a high school student wearing a short-skirted cheerleader's uniform, a pearl necklace, and a wig <laughs> posing on a school sports field next to two girls in men's suits. Oh boy, they're all in drag. The caption says, Governor Bill Lee in drag, 1977 high school yearbook. Now, we're going to get to his response in a moment here, but can we just go back to that photograph of him in drag? That is <laughs> that is by far the ugliest f***ing drag queen I've, <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire f***ing life. <laughs> I, I understand why he wants to ban drag after seeing that photograph. I, I mean, if he looked in the mirror, he would be mortified. So I understand his rationale here. God damn, that is an ugly f***ing king drag queen now you'll be surprised to learn also that he was very defensive when somebody brought this photo up to him at a recent press conference this is great let's watch the bills have gone through now the, the transgender bill ban children's transgender therapy that's on your desk a uh, drag bill heads back to the center for a quick amendment before it hits your desk uh, comfortable signing those types of legislation yeah i expect to sign both of them josh dressing in drag in 1977 what a ridiculous ridiculous remember? question that is it? conflating something like that to remember? sexualized entertainment in yeah. front of children which drag is a is very not, serious subject drag is not sexual. andy what you got Do you remember it? is this you andy i'm just wondering if you're aware of any specific cases or instances that this bill would stop or what's are you aware of specifics in terms of the problem that this is I, I think the the concern is uh, what's right there in that class, in that building, um, children that are potentially exposed to sexualized entertainment, to obscenity, and we need to make sure that they're not. I think that's something that should happen in Tennessee, and it will because of this bill. Would you be okay with Thank drag all queens? For your time today. Appreciate it all. Thank you. Is it okay you. if drag queens come to the school? Because this is you. This is you at a high school, Governor. This right here is you at a high school. Yeah. Is it only illegal when gay people do yeah. it, Governor? But. Have you talked to your sister about the bill, Governor? Is this you? Is this you, Bill? Is this you in 1977? That was absolutely magical. The whole this shoe phenomenon that we see on Twitter, we got a real life version of it thanks to these reporters here, and they are doing the Lord's work. I love how he is so defensive about his past as a drag queen. You know, yeah, maybe you did it one time, maybe some more times, but these Republicans, they can't help themselves. It's like being hypocritical is an innate feature of Republicanism. Like, you can't be a Republican unless you've been a hypocrite on at least three issues. And to see him get so outraged, I mean, you are the ones, your party brought this issue to the forefront of everyone's minds. You raised the salience of this non-issue just a couple of months ago. And now you're angry that people are bringing up how mm, you're a bit of a hypocrite here. It's just so ridiculous. But 
There's more. NBC News reports a Texas lawmaker who authored a bill that would restrict drag performances appears to have dressed in drag himself while a student. A video that surfaced on Twitter and TikTok this week appears to show Texas State Representative Nate Schatzline, a Republican, skipping running and dancing in a park like a little fairy uh, while donning a black sequin dress and a red eye mask at the end of the roughly 90 second video which plays over the song sexy lady by javi mula the four participants are named including shats line whose character is called the virgin now i can't play the audio but you're seeing the video um and towards the end as the article points out the drag queen in question, uh, the anti-drag drag queen identifies himself, and that is indeed anti-drag lawmaker Nate Schatzline. What do you even say? By the time this video even gets uploaded, there's going to be like five more stories of Republicans who want to bad dra ban drag performances and drag. I just, I, what do you, what do you even say? Republicans are such clowns; they can't help themselves. Now, like Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. Schatz line is very, very defensive about this. He actually responded on Twitter to somebody who posted that video saying, y'all really going crazy over me wearing a dress as a joke back in school for a theater project? Yeah, that's not a sexually explicit drag show, LOL. Y'all will twist anything. Michelle, he's responding to the person who posted it, please find something better to do than look up old videos from when people were in school. But wait a second. You're all saying that drag is inherently sexual and explicit, and some are arguing it is tantamount to pornography. But yet, when you do it, it's not sexually explicit? Do you see where the disconnect is coming from? You're hypocrites. See, it's okay when you do it, because it's inherently not sexual, but when performers do it, even if there's nothing sexual about that performance, sometimes they're comedy routines, well, I don't like it, ban it. You all are just nothing but authoritarian pricks who can't mind your own business, even if it behooves you to shut the fuck up about particular issues because your past as a drag queen will come up. You will be exposed as a hypocrite, but they can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. You know, there's an effort in Iowa where Republicans are proposing a ban on same-sex marriage, which is obviously a ploy to get the Supreme Court to revisit Obergefell. But at the rate we're going, I wouldn't be surprised if the Republican who sponsored that legislation wrote it with his husband's dick in his ass. Like, that's where we're going with Republicans, where they're so hypocritical, they're wearing it on their sleeves. I mean, why would you... If you're this offended by drag queens, bring up this issue if you know you're going to be exposed as well. Like, you don't get to downplay it after that. You said this is a serious issue. You elevated the salience of this. You said this is explicit content. But when you do it, it's okay? No, I don't think so. I'm not buying it. And I don't think that normal voters buy it too. I don't care how conservative and Republican they are. Republican voters, they might be duped by these politicians. But I don't think that they agree with this effort. I think that they care about more... Uh, substantive issues such as how to pay the rent how to put food on the table but these republican clowns are hyper fixated on culture war nonsense even when they themselves know that this isn't really that serious of an issue so you know you love to see it you love to see these hypocrites get exposed but saying that republicans are hypocrites is like saying the sky is blue i mean it's such an obvious statement at this point that every single person knows it to be a fact yes republicans are hypocrites brazenly so and that's still not going to stop them from being horrible fucking people i'm gonna come do not come 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 welcome to the come zone come